Hello friends how are you I hope you are fine. Today we share information about Daisy Ridley. Daisy Jazz's Obel Ridley is an English actress. She rose to prominence for her role as Rey in the Star Wars sequel trilogy, The Force Awakens The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker. Daisy Jazz's Obel Ridley is an English actress. She is best known for her breakthrough role as Rey in the 2015 film Star Wars, Episode 7, The Force Awakens 2015. Daisy was born in Westminster, London on April 10, 1992. She is the daughter of Louise Faulkner Corbett and Chris Ridley. Her great-uncle was Arnold Ridley an English actor playwright and appointed officer of the Order of the British Empire Ob, who was best known for his authorship of the play The Ghost Train, and his role as Private Godfrey in the British sitcom Dad's Army 1968. Daisy attended the Tring Park School for Performing Arts located in Hertfordshire, England, where she trained in musical theatre and graduated in 2010 at the age of 18. Aside from acting her talent repertoire includes ballet jazz dancing Latin American and tap. Her vocal range is mezzo-soprano where she is notably skilled in jazz and cabaret singing. Upon graduation Daisy was hired in a number of roles in television film and music. She was cast to play Jessie in the British comedy drama Youngers 2013. In 2013 she played Fran Bedingfield in the BBC series Casualty 1986 and as Charlotte in the British comedy Toast of London 2012. In 2014 she played opposite to Jeremy Piven as Roxy Starlet in the second season of the ITV series Mr. Selfridge 2013 and as Hannah Kennedy in two episodes of the BBC crime drama Silent Witness 1996. She further had roles in short films including Scrawl 100% Beef and Crossed Wires. She was featured in Blue Season which was entered into the Sci-Fi London 48-hour film challenge and Lifesaver which was nominated for a BAFTA award. She also appeared in Wiley's British rap music video Lightthon. In April 2014 it was announced that Daisy was cast to play the heroine main protagonist Rey in Star Wars, The Force Awakens the first film in the new trilogy of the Star Wars franchise. Since its release in December 2015 the J.J. Abrams directed movie has received critical acclaim and became the fastest movie ever to reach $1 billion at the box office worldwide. In August 2015 it was announced that she would play the lead role of Tycho in the English dub of the 1991 animated film Only Yesterday which was released in 2016. In December 2017 Daisy reprised her role as Rey in the 8th Star Wars film The Last Jedi as well as the Star Wars TV show Forces of Destiny. Ridley then played Mary Debenham in The Murder on the Orient Express. She also starred in the titular role in Ophelia alongside Naomi Watts and Clive Owen which was filmed in 2017 and debuted at the 2018 Sundance Film Festival. In February 2018 Daisy voiced Katon Tale in the film adaptation of Beatrix Potter's children's story. In 2019 Ridley co-stars with Tom Holland in the movie Chaos Walking playing Viola Eid in the film adaptation of the novel done by Patrick Ness which is currently in post-production and set for release in 2020. Daisy further reprised her role as Rey in Star Wars Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker which started filming in 2018 and wrapped up in early 2019. The movie was released in December 2019 and is Ridley's final cinematic role as Rey in the franchise. Daisy is currently connected to future projects including Christy Hall's Daddio. She will star in The Lost Wife which is based on the novel by Alyssa Richman. She is reportedly also teaming up J.J. Abrams in a couple projects including the remake of 2003 single quote S. Israeli TV movie Kalma and the film adaptation of Sonia Pernal's A Woman of No Importance. She was cast in Younger's 2013 Straight Out of School. Coincidentally during the only scene in which she appears Star Wars is mentioned. Her great uncle is actor Arnold Ridley who played Godfrey in the long-running British sitcom Dad's Army 1968. 
trained as a dancer and singer at the Tring Park School for the Performing Arts. She appears in the music video for The Sun Lights On by Wiley Feet Angel and Tinchy Strider. The song was released in 2013. Her character Ray is featured on a Star Wars postage stamp issued in October 2015 by the UK Royal Mail Postal Service. She has a tattoo of three stars on her left foot that she got when she was 15 a tattoo of the alchemical symbol of air on her upper right thigh and a peace symbol tattoo behind her right ear. She is the youngest child of five sisters. Two of them are half-sisters coming from her father's previous marriage. While watching the trailer of Star Wars, Episode 7, The Force Awakens 2015 for the first time she was so overwhelmed that she cried. Is left-handed. Could also be considered cross-dominant, as displayed in Star Wars. She writes these with her left hand but shoots and uses her staff with her right hand. One best breakthrough performance at the MTV Movie Awards on her 24th birthday. Since August 2016 she has her own wax figure featured in Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. The sculpture is based on her character Ray and has been revealed during the Star Wars Celebration Europe in July 2016. In 2016 she recorded the song at the ballet along with Barbara Streisand and Anne Hathaway. The song is featured on the album Encore, Movie Partners Sing Broadway which was released in August 26, 2016. In 2012 about a year before her acting career took off she appeared in a TV commercial for the British supermarket chain Morrison's. She is a fan of the Great British Baking Show 2010 and an avid baker herself. She later appeared as a contestant in the fourth season of The Great Celebrity Bake Off for SU2C 2018. When Prince William of Wales and Prince Harry visited the set of Star Wars, Episode 8, The Last Jedi 2017 at Pinwood Studios Daisy was assigned to escort them on a VIP tour of the Star Wars soundstage facilities. Prior to acting she worked as a bartender in London. She also worked in a shopping mall as an elf later upgraded to a fairy princess during Christmas season. Is allergic to cats. She became a vegan after watching the mockumentary Carnage 2017. The film horrified her so much that it inspired her to educate herself about the meat and dairy industry. After cutting both she eventually settled on eating fish as a compromise. Although she is a skilled singer she admitted that it's one of her worst habits. During the production of Star Wars, Episode 7, The Force Awakens 2015 she once lost a bet with J.J. Abrams that she couldn't go an entire day without singing. Abrams later recommended Ridley to Barbara Streisand, who was producing an album featuring well-known actors. In 2016 she started studying for a degree in social science. She and her two older sisters are named after flowers Poppy Sophia and Kika Rose. In July 2016 she took a visit over a weekend to the Great Ormond Street Children's Hospital in London dressed as Ray. While she was doing the Star Wars films she was praised by stunt trainers for being a natural with a lightsaber and for being a fast learner. In one instance she had to practice a complex series of lightsaber movements for a scene in Star Wars, Episode 8, The Last Jedi 2017. According to stunt coordinator Liang Yang it would usually take three days to learn those movements. However Ridley managed to get them right in only 90 minutes. Found out that she got the part in Star Wars, Episode 7, The Force Awakens 2015 while she was at the theater with a friend. Before the play started she received an email and a voicemail from J.J. Abrams who asked her if she could call him. When she did he said that she's gonna be in Star Wars. An information that made her speechless and excited. Right after the call she went back to the theater where the play had already started and she had to sit through it without telling her friend what just happened. One of her very first parts was a short appearance in Toast of London 2012 where she played a stagehand. Matt Berry really wanted to bring her back to the show, but he couldn't get in touch with her. 
This was because at the time she has been recently cast in Star Wars, Episode 7, The Force Awakens 2015 and therefore was temporarily unavailable. Barry expressed his delight in her casting and admitted that his show really couldn't compete with Star Wars. At the age of 15 she was diagnosed with endometriosis and polycystic ovary syndrome which required her to undergo multiple surgeries. After she was cast in Star Wars she only told it to her family. The first thing she did was working out to get in shape for her role. When people asked her why she was doing it she simply told them that she was doing it for an audition. She has a green belt in kickboxing. On Good Morning America 1975 she revealed that she would love to do a musical. Her likeness was used for conceptual artworks of Cara Dune a character from The Mandalorian in 2019. She had a part in The Inbetweeners 2 2014, but her scenes were later cut from the film. The director later attempted to get her back on the film, but as she had been recently cast in Star Wars, Episode 7, The Force Awakens 2015 contractual obligations prevented this.